Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy a Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. Yes, I am. Uh... And we are playing Madden 21. Oh my God, it's the best. Yeah, the fun never stops. It never did. Big buxom boys. Can't stop, won't stop. Big bosom broads. Can't do it, will do it. Bad babies. Mm, what be? <laughs> uh, bearded bears. Bearded ladies cutting their beards. The uh, ballerina bottoms. Mm, crinkle toe magoo. You lost the alliteration with that one. I know. <laughs> Plop. What is that? Well, I see now. What do I do with that? What do I do with that one? Where, where, where does that one go? I don't know where you want to take you, it. You say plop. Actually, you know what? I hate that word. I'm not a fan of plop. Why? It's bad, dude. It's like kitty disgusting. Kitty uh, disgusting? It, yeah, I don't like like kitty disgusting. Yeah, like, I don't like that either. Like, uh, dude, and, the, and then the dookie could plop out of your butt. <laughs> and I just want to punch the you. The dookie could plop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess. Like, is I this guess kitty disgusting? Yeah, I guess so. So I used to go to school. This is a, whoa. Whew. I used to go to school with this kid, and he was like, uh. Dookie he, plopping? I'm not Jonas. <laughs> I need you to, <laughs> I need you to focus. I went to skate with the school, and he was in, like, uh, remedial courses. Okay. And he was kind of like a problem kid where he would just, like, have outbursts in class or whatever. But he had toned it down enough where they were, like, letting them come in, like, regular classes or whatever. But everybody, like, realized that there was, like, something a little different. I only, like, you know, now that I'm older, I realize it's like, oh, this kid had some, some issues with right. learning. And he was, like, just very like just adhd kind of but uh and i remember like his thing is that he would always talk about dookie and he would call it like dookie he would call it dookie okay. he'd be like <laughs> she has dookie in her panties i already know and then like everybody would be like what the hell are you talking about <laughs> Just like even the other kids were like what are you talking about you uncivilized savage but he would just like he every joke every other joke he made was about dookie and it was just like so he was the poo guy yeah, but once he started coming to, like, the regular, I don't want to say regular, but, like, just, like, the normal advancement classes or whatever, and he started with the Dookie talk, it's like it kind of took off. And, like, a lot of other people, even, like, some of the kids, like, the cooler kids, quote-unquote, like, like like TNT Dynamite himself, because I was the coolest. Start talking about Dookie. Yeah, we kind of started talking about Dookie. It, like, lasted for, like, a good two or three months but was it a uh it was like a like were you guys trying to relate to him and make him feel more comfortable no we didn't come on there's no there's no altruistic values in children we were just like hey dookie was funny like that one time so we just started saying dookie remember when tim said dookie <laughs> yeah and this was like in like we're talking like third grade here so oh, okay yeah you so know you're, I mean, you're all like, he's very impressionable <laughs> very impressionable when this happened but i do remember like the the day that he came to class and Dookie meant nothing and people were like, what the hell are you talking about? To the point where Dookie became like, everybody's talking about Dookie. Mm -hmm. And I just remember like there was this one girl who had a crush on me and I had a crush on her. Aww. And uh, it never worked out, funny enough. It, you know, now the th totally, totally off a different story. Maybe we'll get into that one. But I remember she, she told him that uh, she like looked at him one day and she was like, hey, uh, whatever your name is, his name was Earl. He was like, hey, Earl, Dookie. And then he was like, shut the f He said, shut the F up, Beth. And I was like, what the hell? She was trying to connect with you with your catchphrase, and you told her to shut the F up. And I remember everybody laughed, and I was like, aw. Poor Beth. I want to be with Beth. I want to be... I want to be. I want her to be my everything. Is that okay? Yeah, that was. That's actually a crazy story. So, like, uh, in the third grade, I did have a crush on this girl. Her name was Beth, and she had a crush on me too. And it was very obvious because we'd like do like that incidental hand touching kind of crap. Oh, and nice. like, uh, like I ended up leaving that school district 
uh, like at the end of the third grade, and I didn't come back until like seventh grade, I think. And then did you see her again? It was like and I didn't see her again. She had moved. Oh, so you both moved. You came back, and she didn't come back to form the full connection. Yeah. That, it didn't go full circle because of her. So fast forward to me being like 22, I find her on like freaking the internet or whatever, and I like started a dialogue with her, and uh, she was married. Oh, boy. And had kids and stuff. She was hot, though. Nice. Yeah, Jonas, that was my that was my first white girl. That was the one that got away. <laughs> that was my first white girl. What? That was where the love for white women came from. <laughs> it was I missed out on the first one I ever had a crush oh, on. I know. No, yeah. I can't let any of them get away. That is a joke, Jonas. Tell me about your first interracial experience. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Sure, <laughs> 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 oh, really? You gotta search your memory banks, huh? All right. I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we I just poured my heart out, talked about my third grade catchphrase and my first. <laughs> white woman and, and then you're like talk about your first interracial experience <laughs> all right so i can go back further than that jones i've it's like i've always really been in the been in the girls which is kind of crazy uh not really i remember <laughs> <laughs> not really. I, mean, I like that I, <laughs> that was good <laughs> But anyways, I'll let you feel that way. All right, so yeah, you know, I've been straight my whole life. I've been really into girls. It's weird, dude. <laughs> it's just weird. I feel like it's weird, like the age that it's. I got that you like were interested in girls at a young. So age. I remember I going to like, uh, like this is like before preschool. Okay. Like I can remember that there was a girl at the Salvation Army my mom worked at, where I was in like daycare. And her name was Tana. I will not say her last name, but I had a thing for Tana. And I remember my mom used to joke with me about, oh, I think Tana's going to be there. And I was like, oh, heck yeah, dude, I like her. And I just remember, like, I've always been in the girls, like, age appropriate. She was young. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was like, yeah, you were like, you were uh, equals. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. We were, you know going through some similar things and i remember she had a little thing for me and we used to like hold hands in the back of the car and stuff i was man jonas my pff, jonas my handhold game is on the freaking freaking point dude like since a young age yo don't let your girls hold hands with me all right i'm just saying right now That's the end of it if they did yeah dude I mean, if like if they're my girl and they hold your hand it's pretty much over at that point oh that was how you stole a dude's girl in preschool Love you would just hold hands with his girl. And he'd be like, well, guess I'll hold hands with somebody else's girl. <laughs> no, he'd run off crying. And you'd be like, yep. <laughs> That's what you get, cook. <laughs> I'm holding her hand now, fool. Yeah. Go find a new hand, dog. <laughs> was, that, was that one? No, maybe not. All right. <laughs> we'll let that one go. <laughs> For future reference, none of them are what you were. <laughs> <laughs> trying to appropriate me with in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> None of them are. I mean, not intentionally, but <laughs> all right. Yeah, but yeah, that, that I do remember. That was my. That was the absolute earliest memory. So this was like before I was even in like grade school. Oh wow, you were always down for the pee. Yeah, like I went to like a Catholic. Uh, what comes before, like preschool? I guess preschool. Before preschool? No, what comes? Yeah, preschool yeah, is before grade. Like daycare then preschool. So yeah, I went to like a Catholic preschool, and I definitely remember Tana. Yeah. Tana. I can It's like I can't picture her now because she was like four. Yeah, it's hard to. <laughs> but I do remember like the feeling she elicited. I remember having, I, no, you know what I think I like. I remember having like a crush on a girl in like kindergarten. I remember. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Kindergarten. Oh yeah, it would have to, that was kindergarten because preschool was 
where I met Tana in, in kindergarten is okay. Yeah, never mind. Go ahead. Like, I remember, like, yeah, like, kind of like having a crush on like a girl, or you know. <laughs> Do you remember her name? Uh, uh, Laura, Lori, Lori, I think. Ooh, Jonas, I have been with a Lori before. You sly dog. No, you're missing out if you never got it. <laughs> you sly dog. Yeah. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. pretty sly. I went out with a Lore with Lori once for sure, Jonas. At least Jeez. that guy didn't try to catch it and let the other guy do it. Um. <laughs> Is that how you feel? I do. Oh, do you, what, what, did Lori, what did Lori do for you when you were young? Oh, I, do, I barely remember. I think, I ba- you know, I think uh, make like your I'm hair having stand like up? flashbacks now. This could be trauma it that could we're be tra- relieving. Oh, well, no, good. No, you need, you need to explore No, uh, I think there was, I, I believe that maybe, maybe, did I have a crush on her or maybe did she try to kiss me in her breast stunk? Wait, what? <laughs> Now I'm having flashbacks. Why do you remember her breath stinking? Because that it traumatized me. Like that was it was that bad. Like, oh, so you, you haven't been in the maybe, girl since? Maybe it was. <laughs> been in the girl since. <laughs> no, like I'm like maybe maybe I didn't have maybe she kind of liked me and she tried to kiss me and her breast stunk. And <laughs> I denied the issue. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making things up. You're just making stuff I'm, up. No, I'm vaguely having that. No, nah, are you making it up? You tell the truth. I vaguely have a memory of some of somebody breast stinking, like like little kid, like trying to like kiss and when we were little kids oh, okay. and their breast stink. I don't. I, I really don't remember to be honest. I have definitely inhaled some funk breath before. Yeah. I do not remember the name of the guy, but I remember it was like choir. And we were standing on some stairs getting ready to go out on stage. Yeah, I did choir. For all my years of school, I did choir. All right? Don't even get it twisted. <laughs> Your boy got golden pipes. Anyway, I remember we were standing on some stairs getting ready to get out on stage. And I remember this dude was laughing. And I inhaled at the same time that he laughed. And I inhaled his breath. And I was just like, <laughs> and it, like, made me, like, gag. Yeah, dude. Too much, like, well, you know what's kind of interesting is like as I've gotten older, like yeah. I've had I've had girlfriends that like if you wake up next to them in bed, they don't want to like kiss or anything until both of you have got up and like brushed your teeth because everybody has fair. morning breath. You yeah, know what I mean? Fair enough. Where like I don't I, I tend to like I tend to not care so much because I'm like both of our breath stinks in the morning. Like it, it is what it is. Like you, you don't wake up with good breath most of the time. I kind of don't like to like make out because I kind of do feel like it's just a certain degree in, in of the butts. morning or ever like kind of like all together dude I don't know like yeah okay look all right so making out is just like heavy kissing right like heavy kissing like yeah. heavy like tongues and just yeah just like very passionate like yeah dude I'm good I don't really understand how humankind has come to the point where we got to put our mouths together in order to, like, initiate uh, romance or how, how that's a, a staple of romance. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it gets me turned on. Yeah. But, ew. Like, why are we putting our mouths together? Yeah. Can I just, like, touch? Can we just, like, hold hands? Because I told you my hand holding game, Jonas. Jonas, <laughs> they hold my they hold my hand and them panties disintegrate. Jeez, that's how good I am at holding hands. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I just I don't know like how kissing became a thing. Like if I was look like just getting sacked and throwing interceptions and my defense isn't doing anything. Like I'm wondering if they would have like a history of kissing and like where it came from. Like who started kissing? Is it a French thing? Really? Is that why they call it French kissing? I mean, with the tongue or whatever, I guess. Yeah, but ugh. Like, come on, dude. Do we really want to be French? That's a joke. I mean, <clears throat> who wants to, who wants to be French? I mean, come on. Is it because, like, kissing was the thing that sealed the deal for, like, marriage? Maybe that's what it is. It was considered the thing you could only do with your husband or your wife. Like, I kissed Bobby, and now we're going steady. (laughs) I mean, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and that's kind of what it was. Okay, so they have to go 99 yards. 
Let's see if the defense blows it again. Yeah, dude, I don't know where that came from. Like, where that was, like, the... Where that was, like, the thing to do. That was cool. The oldest evidence of kissing behavior comes from the Hindu Vedic Sanskrit text from over 3,500 years ago uh, where kissing is described as inhaling each other's soul. Oh, so they, it was some real deep-ish back then. In contrast, Egyptian hieroglyph hieroglyphics picture people close to each other rather than pressing their lips together. Inhaling your each other's soul. Chick, if you try to inhale my soul, we fight you. Yeah, I'm not I trying to inhale any soul, dude. You, yeah, you, you stay away from my soul, you know, that's 100%. I don't want a soul bird with me. <laughs> Inhaling each other's soul. And that that's the earliest ideals of kissing. And it is just it's gotten out of hand if you ask me. Has it? Yeah, dude, it's unsanitary. That's how you get T B. COVID. That's how you get T B. Right now it's like it's crazy. Honestly, it's probably great out there right now because nobody's kissing, right? You can't kiss right now. Unless you're germ bonded. Germ bonded? I'm confused. Like, oh, unless you both have whatever it is. I got right, you. Right, you live in the same house, essentially. Like if, you're a part, if it's your romantic partner, you're going to be germ bonded. You're yeah. going to kiss. You're going to be in close proximity. You're going to. Yeah. Well, look, uh, Beth. <laughs> if swap you're, fluids, so to speak. Beth, if you're out there and you've dumped that zero, there's, Get a, your hero. there's a hero waiting here. Tana, hit me up. Um, and Lori, <laughs> uh, I'm sure you started brushing your teeth, so hit Jonas. <laughs> oh, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. He does Twitch. TNT Dynamite, I'm always where you need to find the funny. TNT DINT and TDIN on my GHT underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Yes. Uh, for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we will catch you on the next one. We are out.